Hey, gente, tudo bem? Let's take a look. Today we are going to take a look at the simple past in Portuguese, okay? And in Portuguese, it's called pretérito perfeito. But before we do this, let's take a look at the present so that you can um, review the, the present tense, okay? So the present tense, when do you use the present tense? To indicate actions that are routine or they happen with a frequency in the present, okay? Or you can use the simple present to indicate facts, right? For example, the sun rises in the east. O sol se levanta no leste, okay? Uh, uh, eu trabalho todos os dias, okay? I work every day. So I have chosen here, so just to refresh your memory, AR verbs. So I picked four different verbs here. The verb amar, falar, Andar e conversar, ok? To love, to speak or to say, to walk and to talk. So, the ending for the first person, o, eu amo. Eu, você, ele, ela, fala. Nós andamos. Vocês, eles e elas, conversam. Ok? So, these are the endings for all AR verbs. Now, ER verbs, what are the endings? So, I picked four different verbs. Aprender, to learn. Escrever, to write. Aprender, to learn. And escrever, oh, I picked two verbs only. <laughs> so, the endings, you see that for the first person, the endings are the same, right? Eu amo, eu aprendo, eu discuto. Uh, so, for the ER and IR verbs, you have escreve, uh, aprendemos e escrevem. And the verbs in IR, discutir, to discuss, assistir, to watch, assistir, opa, assistimos, uh, e discutir. So, discutir e assistir. Então, eu uh, discuto, você, ele, ela discute, nós discutimos, eles discutem. So, look at the pattern here. So, the first person, o, o, o. AR verbs, second and third person, a. And ER and IR verbs, i. Ok? Escreve e assiste. And then, amos, emos, imos. It's just the vowel that changes. And then, ão, em, em. So easy to remember. So let's see what happens in the simple past. When do you use the simple past? When actions happened in the past at a specific time in the past. So uh, last week I um, last week I had my car washed. Okay, uh, I went to my mother uh, traveled to uh, Europe last year. Okay, so let's see regular verbs. You just have to memorize the endings. Okay, so our AR verbs. What are the endings? A, O, amos, aram. ER verbs. I, eu, emos, eram. IR verbs. I, eu, emos, irão. Ok? Opa, assistimos. Dois S's assistimos, ok? Uh, so you see that the first person plural, look at that, it's the same. So you don't have to worry about it, right? So how are you going to know if it's present or past? The context, okay? So if you say, uh, ontem, eu, uh, ontem nós estudamos, ontem nós estudamos matemática. So ontem, the adverb yesterday tells you that you're talking about the past. Now if I say, nós estudamos matemática, Três vezes por semana, so we study math three times a week, you know, you're talking about a habit in the present, a routine action in the present, okay? Uh, now, notice what happens here with verbs that end with ka. So, you have to change in order to keep the sound k. You have to change the c to q u, okay? Então, ficar, eu fiquei, and then the other persons, no problem. Eu fiquei, você ficou... Nós ficamos, eles ficaram, ok? And the verb ficar means to stay. Uh, and also, if you use the verb ficar with an adjective, for example, ficar doente, ficar velho, ficar gordo, ficar triste, that means to get, ok? To get old, to get fat, to get sad, ok? So, you can use the verb ficar like that too. So, when you say, oh, I know, I got... I got I got angry, ok? Eu fiquei com raiva, ok? O verbo jogar, so when it ends with ga, 
for you to keep the g sound what you have to do in the first person you have to change the g to g u okay joguei okay if you don't insert the u you are going to pronounce it pronounce it as jojei and you don't want to say jojei eu joguei você jogou nós jogamos eles jogaram so you just have to worry about the first person and the verbs ending in sa you are going to drop in the first person you're going to drop the sigilia because you just use sigilia before a o and u okay before uh, e and e não precisa de sigilia you don't need that so reescreva as frases no passado so i just want you to rewrite these to practice okay então eu ando pelo parque so i walk through the park and then you're going to say i walked through the park então eu opa <laughs> uh, eu andei pelo parque. Eu falo com meu amigo. I talk to my friend. Eu falei com meu amigo. Uh, it's important for you. I'm not going to write everything because um, I don't need to practice this. You guys do, right? <laughs> so when you are following, just to write it out so you can practice the spelling, which is very important. It's always good to have correct input, okay? Uh, você conversa com sua mãe? So notice that here you have an interrogation mark. So remember in Portuguese, you have to give it a rising intonation. Otherwise, it becomes a statement, okay? Então, você conversa com sua mãe? So do you talk to your mom? And you answer, and, and then in the past, Did you talk to your mom? So, você conversou com sua mãe? Vocês estudam, portu uh, vocês estudam português na universidade. You study Portuguese at the university. Uh, and you want to say you studied uh, Portuguese at the university. Vocês estudaram português na universidade. Nós aprendemos química no laboratório. We learn chemistry in the lab. So, we learned chemistry in the lab. Nós aprendemos química no laboratório. So, you have exactly the same. So, here you would have to insert uh, uh, an adverb indicating that it was a past thing. Okay? So, we studied, uh, nós estudamos química no laboratório ontem, ou semana passada, ou no mês passado. Uh, vocês gostam do novo professor. So, you like the new teacher. So, you liked the new teacher. Vocês gostaram do novo professor. Luísa discute política com suas amigas. So, Luísa discusses politics with her friends. So, she discussed politics with her friends. Luísa discutiu política com suas amigas. Eu não assisto televisão. I don't watch TV. So, I didn't watch TV. So, eu não assisti televisão. Nós escrevemos poemas. We write poems. So, we did not write poems yesterday, for example, or last, last month. Not yesterday. You don't write a poem every day, right? Então, nós não escrevemos poemas um, mês passado, né? Last month. Márcia bebe muita cerveja. She drinks a lot of beer. So, she drank a lot of beer um, on Sunday. So, Márcia bebeu muita cerveja no domingo. Eu jogo tênis no clube. I played tennis at the club. Então, I played tennis at the club. Eu joguei, don't forget to change the, the G to G-U, ok? Eu joguei tênis no clube semana passada. Marina dança na boate. Marina uh, dances at the nightclub. Então, Maria dançou na boate semana passada. Uh, you see, when it's the third person or first person, you don't have to say when it happened um, uh, because it's already, uh, uh, the verb already indicates that it's a past action, okay? You have to, you really have to use the, the, the adverb indicating that it's past if it's first person plural, okay? Nós. Because then it's the same form as the present. But here, you don't have to say, uh, Maria bebeu muita cerveja. So we know that it's past tense. And it's not like in English, when you specify when something happened, you have to use the simple past. And if you don't say when, you use the present perfect, right? So, uh, the difference. She bought a car last week, and she has bought a car. If you don't mention when something happened, you use the present perfect. So we don't have this problem in Portuguese, okay? It's just the simple past, and that's it. 
Um, eu jogo tem ah número 12, não número 13, eu não danço valsa I don't uh, I don't waltz so I don't dance waltzes uh, eu não dancei valsa remember that you drop the cedilha because it's before an e eu não fico em casa à noite I don't stay home at night eu não fiquei em casa à noite José parte para Roma uh, José leaves for Rome então José partiu Uh, para Roma, ok? He left for Rome. Now, let's see the first irregular verb, the verb ir. So, what's the past tense of the verb ir? Fui, eu fui, você, ele, ela. Foi, nós fomos, e vocês, eles e elas foram. Então, olha só. Ontem, Mariana foi à escola bem cedo. So, yesterday, Mariana went to school very early. Ela foi à escola bem cedo. Ah, ah, ah desculpe. Ai, meu Deus. Uh, here you have to use the present or the past, ok? Desculpe. Uh, so, you have here todos os dias, every day. So, every day indicates an, uh, a habit in the present, ok? An action that repeats itself in the present. So, you have to use... The simple present. Ela vai à escola bem cedo todos os dias. Eu normalmente, I normally, blah, 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 to the library after school, but yesterday I did not, blah, blah, blah. So, normally indicates a habit in the present, so the verb has to be in the present. Eu normalmente vou à biblioteca depois da aula, mas ontem eu não fui. Ok? Yesterday I did not go. Nós, blá, 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 ao cinema no sábado passado. So, sábado passado means last Saturday. So, you have to use the simple past. Nós fomos ao cinema no sábado passado. We went to the movies last Saturday. Nós, blá, 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 ao cinema todos os sábados. Now, it's every Saturday. Indicates they, the, here the adverb indicates, the adverb or phrase indicates that you do something on a regular basis in the present. So, you have to use the simple present. Nós... Vamos ao cinema todos os sábados. Por que você não blá 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 a aula de ontem? Why did why da, 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 class yesterday? So why didn't you go to class yesterday? Por que você não foi à aula de ontem? Eu blá 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 ao cinema na semana passada. Semana passada, last week, past tense. Eu não fui ao cinema na semana passada. I didn't go to the movies last week. A gente não, blá, 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 a esse restaurante porque ele é ruim. So, a gente is the same thing as uh, we, ok? But when we, we use a gente a lot because it's easier, you don't have to conjugate in the first person plural because it's, it's conjugated as uh, singular, ok? Although the idea is plural. So, when you say a gente não, that means we, ok? But the verb is conjugated in the singular. A gente não... A gente não vai a esse restaurante porque ele é ruim. So, we don't go to this restaurant because it is bad. It's a bad restaurant. Minha família, blá, 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 aos domingos. My family to church on Sundays. Indicates, this sentence indicates what? I have in the present. Então, minha família vai à igreja aos domingos. Notice that família, the idea is plural, but the word is singular, ok? Então, minha família... Vai à igreja aos domingos. Minha prima não blá 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 à igreja no domingo passado. Ela blá 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 ao jogo de futebol. So, minha, but my, my cousin, uh, tarará, to church last week. She blá 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 to the football game. So, minha, mas minha prima não foi à igreja no domingo passado, last Sunday. Ela foi ao jogo de futebol. She went to the, uh, the soccer game or the football game. Whatever, um, whatever. If you say like futebol, you would have to say futebol americano if you're talking about the football, American football, ok? Obrigada, gente. Até a próxima. Tchau.